When we take the gospel message to the world, <clears throat> we have two goals in mind. One is to please God. Two is to persuade men. That's what Paul says in Galatians chapter 1 and verse 10. Now, in this chapter, he is having to write to the Galatian Christians, which is an area, a region of churches that he had planted on his first missionary journey. And they have had some people from Jerusalem come in behind Paul and Barnabas that we call the Judaizers. And what they said was, was this Jesus stuff is great, but you need to keep the law of Moses in order to be saved. And so Paul is telling them that's not true. The gospel message is a very simple message. It's a message that comes from God. It's the message that Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again according to the scriptures. And there is salvation in no other, only in trusting in Jesus Christ. And so Paul says in Galatians 1.10, for do I now persuade men or God? So it's a, it's a good question. He's kind of being facetious. Am, am I trying to persuade God of this? Am I trying to talk God out of saving people by keeping the law uh, and, and talk him into letting people be saved by trusting in Jesus? Well, of course not. He's not trying to persuade God. Paul's trying to persuade men. That's why he went and preached. That's why he uh, debated in the marketplaces. That's why he, he spoke every time that, that God gave him an opportunity uh, to, to ones and twos, to, to great big crowds. It didn't matter to Paul. He wanted to persuade men to hear the gospel message so that they could learn the information necessary about the love of God so that they could put their faith in Christ to be saved. He wanted them to be persuaded. And so <clears throat> he says, do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? Now we know that Paul didn't seek to please men. If he sought to please men, he wouldn't be fighting against the Judaizers. Matter of fact, these Judaizers were probably part of the group that Paul was from, the Pharisees. These men that, that Paul had been raised amongst, that he had been trained as a, a Pharisee. And so if he wanted to please men, he could have done it quite easily by simply going along with them. But in Paul's stand for the gospel, it cost him dearly uh, among men. So, so it's pretty simple what Paul wanted to do. He wanted to please God. He wanted to persuade men. Paul had an opportunity to persuade one of the Herods, Herod Agrippa, the last of the, the, the Herods that served as the, the, the kings of Judea. And in Acts chapter 26 and verse 28, after Agrippa had heard Paul share the gospel message, it says, then Agrippa said unto Paul, almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. You might have heard the old hymn, almost persuaded. Well, that was Agrippa. He, he said, I'm, I'm almost persuaded. Paul, you, you've, you've made a great uh, presentation here, and I'm, I'm just almost persuaded. And Paul said, I would to God that not only thou, but also all that hear me this day were both almost and altogether such as I am, except these bonds. You see, Paul wanted to persuade men to trust in Christ, and Paul wanted to please God. So Galatians 1.10 says, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, then I should not be the servant of Christ. If you want to please men, don't worry about following Jesus, because it won't do you any good. Uh, you can't please men and please God at the same time. Now, some of them you can. You, you, you know, other believers, they're going to be real pleased when, when they see you trying to follow Christ like they are. But this world, the, the lost world, they're never going to be pleased by, being try, by us trying to persuade them to trust in Christ. That this, that's not something that pleases them. They hate that. They hate Jesus and they hate, they hate the gospel message. But that's okay because they might be persuaded. So in love, keep sharing the gospel. Keep seeking to persuade men and keep pleasing God. God bless you. Have a great day.